Araminta St. John. Hmm. Ridiculous name, isn't it? It is ridiculous. And as samples weren't up to much. Nah, that's a no par for you then, Araminta St. John. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Gail Heathers. She was high as a kite. Definitely not. No pile. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Ah, Corina Capello. You two hit it off? Yeah, oh, she was a lovely girl. And her samples were good. Yeah, but sadly, not a lot of experience, though. Ah, Ellie. Miles better than the rest of them, so it's a no-brainer, really. You sure? Completely your decision? Yep. Ellie it is. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed how much, uh... Karina looked like a Mediterranean version of Tina McIntyre. No, I hadn't noticed. Because the last thing either of us need is a daily reminder of the biggest mistake of my life. Not now I've uh, worked so hard to become a better man since then. Apologies, I didn't mean to interrupt. You. I haven't come in, Roy. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I shall be out tonight, uh, back watching in Bolton. Great. Uh, it's all right, Roy. We're uh, we finished here anyway, aren't we? Yeah, we're done. I trust Simon's uh, better after after earlier. Sorry, Roy. What happened earlier? Uh, Leanne said that he caused a bit of bother at speed dial. <sighs> right, OK. I beg on see what he's playing at. OK. See you tomorrow. Yeah, night. Do you know, his moods are up and down more than a kangaroo and a pogo stick. I never know which side I'm going to get. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi. Roy said si has been acting up again. Oh, he's sulking. I've told him he's got half an hour on that console and then he's going to come in here and engage with human beings. Oh, how was your day? Yeah, uh, it was a bit weird, actually, Dan. So we were doing these interviews at the factory. This girl walks in. It could have been Tina's twin. Tina? Tina McIntyre? Yeah. I mean, to be honest, she weren't much good on paper, but Carla seemed to want to give her a chance. That's a bit of a coincidence. Yeah, hey, you can tell me about it. It was like I was looking at a ghost. Oh, Peter, wake up. She's setting you up. Carla's setting you up, and you're too stupid to realise it. How could Carla have known what she looked like before she arrived? Thank you, Dad. Exactly. You're wrong. And also, I saw Carla. She was as freaked out about it as I uh, was. Oh, well, whatever. You let her play a game. Just make sure that Simon doesn't end up in the crossfire this time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 